Welcome back to this channel. I'm Lisa and you're watching Home vs. House. If you are joining me for the first time, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for coming back. So I'm sitting out in my backyard just enjoying the cool weather and it felt so peaceful here that I was inspired to give an update. So last video I gave a tour of what this place looks like and I just thought I would come on I did some more things here just using things that I already had on hand so this is my swash growing here and I thought because this space is getting a little bit crowded and so I thought to elevate um, it a little bit more so I had this ladder here actually I made it for the indoors some years ago and um, I had it on the side over here um, and I thought to put it here and then I had some more wood in my garage that I added a piece on this side and made this kind of trellis um, here for the squash so I, I'm gonna I'm actually experimenting so I'll see if that'll work if it doesn't work I'll do something different and then over here I have another DIY trellis for my uh, cucumbers once they start growing so that is what I did in this space here um, the last video I showed how I use pieces of wood to kind of um, make a step in path and so I got some new wood well some old wood but new for me um, that I cut and gave it this more uniform look um, I really like kind of the rustic look out here so while I am out here I notice my sunflowers are popping up so these are some that I planted a couple of weeks ago so last year I had sunflowers just alongside of this garden fence here and I'm doing the same this year because I found that it was really pretty and then it added um, it served as a privacy fence over here and I thought that looked really good a live fence and so I'm doing the same this year and I'm hoping to plant um, and to make it thicker over here I have my string beans and I just added um, I just tied it so it can grow up this trellis I did it on that side I also did the same for my sweet peas over here so that's the idea that I am going to do hopefully with my squash down here is to tie it up once it grows out some more it, gro it grows as a vine last year I had it alongside this strip and I've planted some wildflowers alongside here so I'm gonna try this spot for my squash and see if it works my rose so these are two mini rose plants that I bought from the front and I see new um, leaves sprouting on there so it tells me that it's alive and well guys last video I showed this spot here that I'm still working on I'm doing a rustic wall um, here just a half a wall to create kind of like a, a courtyard look um, a set, another garden room a third garden room in this space so still have some work to do but I have put up part of the wall so far um, and then once it's up to the height that I want it to be in um, I plan to go over it and color it actually um, I don't know what it's called but it's a like a landscaping paint that you 
uh, can put over um, bricks to give it a clay look. So I um, that's the plans that I have for this wall to give it a little bit more rustic vibes. And then I plan to add some more rocks down to the ground. So still a work in progress, but it's coming along. I'm doing little by little so that it's not overwhelming. Guys, I'm gonna end this video here, but I thought, again, as I'm sitting out here in my little corner, sipping on some tea, here's my cup over there, I thought to make a video on kind of what updates I've done so far since the last video. All right, guys, well, I will catch you on the next one. In the meantime, though, be safe and healthy. Bye-bye.